Heat is the enemy of power. And that's what we're here to talk about today. When you're driving your car around and it slows down, not literally slows down, but you push the loud pedal and it doesn't go as fast, you may be experiencing heat soak. At VMP, we have the solution to that. We're gonna talk about that solution and show you the installation today. The solution is the VMP Triple Pass Heat Exchanger. I wanna to talk to you guys about the specific design of it, the parts that come with it, and then we're gonna show you uh, how it goes in the actual car. This is the actual piece itself. It's huge, it's beautiful, it's all TIG welded, our logo on it, not visible once installed in the car. It comes with everything you need in the kit, dual relay harness to power the dual spout fans, hardware, brackets, hose, not shown here. So I want to show you what's unique about our design. We actually use a triple pass design. So the water flows through the heat exchanger three times. Comes in here, wraps around, wraps around again, then goes back out. That triple pass design cools that water down as much as possible. We find 10 to 15 degrees lower than competing designs. And like we said, heat is the enemy of power. So this puppy goes in the car with this side facing the front so you don't actually see the fans. <clears throat> We're going to install it today on a 1314 Shelby GT500, but it also fits other applications. It'll fit Mustang GTs, 5.0s, Roush cars, basically anything with an air to water intercooler system and a positive displacement supercharger. So let's head out to the shop and install this on a 1314 Shelby GT500. And we can show you what it's all about. I want to talk about a really important part of the VMP heat exchanger install, and that's the intercooler pump function and hose routing. Now, this intercooler pump keeps the fluid flowing through the system, and it's really important that it works and is primed properly, otherwise engine damage can result. 
I want to show you guys how the fluid is designed to flow through the system. This line here comes from the intercooler reservoir in the engine bay and goes up to the intercooler pump inlet. And then it goes out to the heat exchanger core. If there's air in the line down here, you may end up having to pull the hose off momentarily, let the air come out, let the fluid flow through to get the system primed and working. Now, we do recommend adding fluid to the system before you put the bumper back on. In some cases, you may need to remove this line to get air out of the system. So once again, when you guys install your heat exchanger, I just want to make sure you've got the hoses routed correctly and that fluid is flowing through the system. Just a reminder, check your circulation before you put your bumper back on.